In the previous tutorial, we started off with variables and we created a variable called my name. So there it is over there. So at the start of the program, we said set my name to, and then we put in some text over there. So again, text, let's go back to text. All right, so I'm just doing this again. Set my name to, and then I'll just put M A T T because that's shorter to scroll. Right, so start the program set my name to Matt perfect then we're going to go basic show string okay but we're gonna do one more thing so when we shake the micro bits it's going to say hello and your name as well so not just your name it's gonna say hello and your name so in order to do that we need to join the words hello and your name how do we do that back in our text block down at the bottom there, remember it's in the advanced section, text, and you've got a nice join button here. Now you can join as many words together as you like. Join, so let's go ahead, pop that in there. And it already has the word hello, I did that on purpose, and world, but that's not your name. Your name is stored in the my name variable. So instead of having the word world there, let's put the variable that we created called my name, and it'll show whatever is inside that variable there. Now, hold on, I just gotta get in there, sorry. Gotcha. Right, so when I shake the micro bit, it's gonna go, hello, and my name. Something to remember though, is to maybe put a little space after the word hello. So it's hello, Matt, not hello, Matt. Okay, so you might wanna think about that as well. Let's have a look, shake, or click on the button there that says shake. And there you go, hello, and there's the space, Matt. Beautiful. So that's in your text, okay? Join. So there it is there. 